And I don't think most people understand that the, 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 the soil in the Amazon rainforest is the second worst in the world next to deserts. It's extremely thin. People think, oh, this must be a very lush soil. No, it's very, very thin. And it feeds itself. So the, the trees decay, they drop their leaves, the leaves decay. There's all kinds of microorganisms that turn that into soil that can be used. The trees have to spread their roots way out. Their roots are very shallow. But when you cut the trees, the soil then gets washed away in the rains. It may take a couple of years because the root systems may continue. But after a couple of years, it, it washes away, and below that is clay in most places. The sun then comes and bakes the clay, and you've basically destroyed even... It's extremely difficult to revitalize that, to regrow forests. It can be done, and it's being done these days. We're working on different processes for doing that. But in nature, it isn't done. Nature has to be helped at that point. Yeah, it is pretty ridiculous that we have economics making it so that people clear this rainforest that has evolved over millions of years in order to just farm it for a couple of years and then have to abandon it. it yeah. It's pretty perverse.